Riyadh based Manafair Holding was founded in 2008 and has been delivering a range of investment services for clients over a variety of sectors ever since. Recently they have diversified into the UK with two key acquisitions in the square mile, 68 King William Street and 3 Bunhill Row. Here to discuss their offering in more detail is CEO Yasser Al Sharif. Yasser, welcome. Thanks. So tell us about Manafair Holding and how you became established. Manafair, as you mentioned correctly, was established in 2008. Uh, founded by Sheikh Mohammed Abdelaziz Raj, he God rest his soul. Manafa is ranked number 38 among the top 100 Saudi companies. As an investment company, we seek investments in variety of classes, private equities, real estate developments, tourism, equity markets, and direct investments. Manafa objective is to diversify investments, reduce risk and achieve high return on risk taken. And if you could expand slightly on the services you offer to your clients. In one hand we have the private equity investment which targets client uh, sector, consumer centric sectors such as education, healthcare, food and beverages. On the other hand, direct exposure through real estate development, developing gated communities and tourism services, and also manufacturing where uh, raw materials is uh, a major play in the sector. You touched on your real estate division there. What else can you tell us about the projects that you're involved in? Real estate development is the sweet spot in the Saudi economy. It's coupled with high um, demand, growth in population and the support of the governments. We have the mortgage law out. We have a subsidiary called DAM, which really target the mid to high end sectors. We develop uh, gated communities in major cities, such as Riyadh, Jeddah, and Al Khubar. Um, there's huge demand uh, for this sector. We also um, develop hotels we have the uh, Mohmedbek Hotel in Riyadh, which is, I believe, would be the second largest hotel in Riyadh with over 430 rooms and is due to open first quarter next year. We have also a couple of projects, one in the holy city of Mecca and also a, a, a mega hotel in Jeddah adjacent to the new airport. Tourism is really essential. Um, and crucial and generate a very handsome yield in the kingdom. And in terms of your private equity approach, where are you invested? We invest uh, in the consumer-centric sectors. Private equity is a little bit challenging in Saudi. There's a lot of money chasing few opportunities. However, we try to strike the balance between the international diversification geographical diversification, and the local market. So basically, it's the opportunity that presents itself. We are Sharia compliant, and we seek investments where business is sustainable and generate a handsome yield. And tell us more about Saudi equities. What movements do you see in that market? The Saudi market has enjoyed a handsome rally uh, since the beginning of the year. It sits around 18 to 19 percent year um, um, to date. It had some headwinds and that because of the geopolitical risk and pressures. However, things has eased up significantly. We saw a rebounding uh, in the markets. The fundamentals of the market um, are strong. I believe we could move, we should move in the uh, price to earning, the multiples, into the area of uh, 19 to 20 uh, multiples and a return of over 20 percent year to date. So there's a huge opportunity and there's a room for um, additional uh, rally, especially in the uh, blue ship companies and in sectors such as petrochemicals, banks and uh, cement telecommunications as well. Finally, what developments do you have in place for the future at Manafa? Manafa will continue its growth, I would say aggressive um, growth. Manafa is looking for partnerships, 
long-term partnerships and to continue diversification uh, in its portfolio and achieve a handsome yield for the risk taken uh, in our investments, both locally and internationally. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Nick.